Hi, I'm Chef Stu Paprocki, and this is Quick Meals with me, Stu Paprocki. Welcome back, Taste Buds. If you watched last week's episode, you know that my apartment was vandalized. After the episode, I went outside to see if the troublemaker who had written on my window was still around. Ah, uh, he was. He was hiding in my carport. It was that rascal Mitch, and he was naked. At first, Mitch wouldn't respond to me. He just sat crouched, mumbling about the virtues of urban beekeeping. Eventually, he lashed out, physically, and we grappled violently for a brief stanza. I probably got the best of the tilt, but Mitch did have his moments. Fighting a naked man is a tactical and sexual conundrum. When the police arrived, Mitch was able to wrestle a patrolman to the ground and commandeer his weapon. Fortunately, the officer's partner tasered Mitch, and uh, Mitch, Mitch is in a lot of trouble. Let this serve as a lesson. When you make up lies about my dad, bad things happen. To say the past week has been difficult for me, both as a chef and a person, would be a huge understatement. To tell the truth, this year has been the most taxing 12 months of my life. Good food is comforting, and I need comfort now more than ever. That's why today's Quick Meals recipe is chili. Normally, I'd add a ton of meat to my chili, but I have developed a problem. Every time I eat red meat, I seem to get sick. It actually landed me in the hospital after the hamburger episode. I was sick during and after the steak episode too. And once again, I got super sick this past week after eating the meatloaf from the last episode. Yesterday, in the doorway of an American Girl store, I avoided my bowels. It was at an open air shopping complex called The Grove. It, it hit me too hard. I had no choice. I was nowhere near a restroom. I was able to get my pants down, but to all the people watching, that probably just made it worse. It was a wake up call. That's why today I'm making vegetarian chili. Here's what you're going to need. This show was supposed to be about food bringing families together around a table, but all Quick Meals has done is ruin lives and destroy families. For this recipe, I recommend using at least a five quart pot. You're going to heat that pot over medium heat and then pour in enough olive oil to cover the bottom. Then add in your minced garlic and saute until it's golden brown. Then pour in your diced and petite diced tomatoes along with your tomato paste. Quick Meals has put my girlfriend through hell, and I'm sorry. This show basically made me cheat on my girlfriend with the Backwards Hat Chef. And even though I'm not the one who gored the Backwards Hat Chef to death with an apple core, it was my fault that it happened. Then it's time to add all your spices, your chili powder, your cayenne pepper, your cumin, your cinnamon, your salt, and white pepper. I dredged up old Lassic family wounds. National champion arm wrestler Travis Bajan wants to hurt me worse than he already did. And I alienated a lot of Mexican-Italian Americans by suggesting that we could all profit from Demi Lovato's death. Then it's time for your onions, green peppers, and jalapenos to accept their invitation to this lava gala. Then it's time for our legumes to leap on in. I watched that movie Prometheus again the other night. It makes even less sense now. First thing I'm going to do when I get to a new planet is not take off my helmet. And what, what was the deal with that? Uh, and then lower the heat to a simmer. The final step is combining your quarter cup of masa harina flour in a bowl with a half a cup of water and mixing them up real good. Then you're going to take that mixture and drizzle it into your chili as you stir. This is going to give your chili a nice, beautiful, full-bodied texture. I finally got a call from my friend Kyle. Uh, several weeks ago, Kyle was out for a jog because he's a pretty active guy, and he saw a flyer for a missing dog. Kyle thought it might have been the bloated dead dog we saw bobbing in the ocean, and the flyer was for a missing Alaskan Malamute. However, 
While he was dialing the contact number, he was waylaid by a mountain lion. Kyle's bandages were removed yesterday after a modestly successful facial reconstruction. Kyle was maimed pretty badly, and he looks like someone who was attacked by an apex predator. But what more can I say? You could enjoy your chili now, but I like to let mine simmer for a while, to let all those flavors commingle real nice and good. This week I begged my former boss for my old job back, and he laughed in my face. He also made fun of this show. But I did manage to procure a position in a fast casual restaurant. I'm going back to a commercial kitchen. I'm not going to be a culinary star. It's time to put my dreams on the back burner and get back to a normal life with my girlfriend. That's right, Taste Buds. This is the last episode of Quick Meals. I owe a whole lot to my loyal Taste Buds out there. You know who you are. That's why today on this Quick Meals finale, I want to pay my respects by answering your questions. I'm talking one last mailbag, people. I received two letters in the mail recently both cease and desist orders, uh, one from the good folks at Nintendo, and the other from that frosted <laughs> guy Fieri. It's taking me a minute to find emails that aren't people claiming to have murdered the backwards hat chef or pretending to be my father. This isn't funny, this is my life. Here's our first email from Lennox in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Lennox asks, Brooks, question mark. Yeah, uh, Brooks. At auditions for Sequest DSV, Jonathan Brandis had to ask security to remove Brooks from the lot. At the time, I thought Brandis was just being a Hollywood hotshot. I, I was so blind. As always, RIP JB. After I ate those funeral potatoes, I called the police on Brooks. Uh, he, he bolted out of his pad and jumped in his car. Taste buds, if you're going to drink a dozen Sprite and Pinot Grigios, don't try to get behind the wheel of a modified hearse. Brooks crashed into a Zancow chicken. His reign of terror is over, and their garlic sauce is amazing. Trust me. I'm not sure there's a single food question in here. Look, cooking is caring. I don't want children growing up the way I did. I don't want families falling apart the way mine did. This show was my way of doing something about it. I, I just wanted to help people. I just got a fresh email. No subject, not a great start. It's from Steel City Stallion at rocketmail.com. Again, not encouraging. He says, Jagoff, just watched your hamburger episode. If you keep eating undercooked meat, I think you'll run into some problems. Who taught you how to cook? Your ditch pig of a mother? Do you know the actress Julie Benz? I wouldn't mind banging her. I'll come to Hollywood if I can crash on your couch. Miss you, son. Signed, Harness Pep Rocky. Babe, nobody knows that's his real name. And, and, and nobody ever called me Jagoff except him. I just fired off a response to that email, and now we wait. If it's actually my father, this won't be the last episode of Quick Meals, I promise. If there's going to be a mouth-watering culinary reunion, I want all of my taste buds to see it. And that is another quick and delicious meal, sure to make your taste buds pap.